okay? <laughs> what happened here? You can do it in here. Come over here. Oh, okay. Come over here and look. look in. See, back here. Okay. See the baby? How big? See mm -hmm. down here? Oh, huh? yes. Oh, you drew the I baby. I drew the baby. Yeah, I drew the baby on it. I was wondering what those lines are going to be. <laughs> so you're making hair. <laughs> yeah, my baby's definitely going to have a lot of hair. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> I'm going to save this take a picture. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Yay. Yay. Do, you have a, do you have an iPhone? Um, no, but I no. do have a problem. Yeah. Yeah, don't it will stay on for a while and then it will just yeah. wear, wear off and stuff like that. I think well, you'll have a copy Charlie of this wants video. To ask you, it's up to you. Charlene wants to ask you some questions, I think. Should I look it up or not? <laughs> Whatever you want. I give you a copy of this so that you'll picture no, no, that no, no, in some way. Sure, why not? <laughs> so, do you want me to sit down here with her? Sure. Because I, um, well, we'll see what and you I'll can ask you, questions. Did you guys wear the same colors on purpose? No, no. we didn't even <laughs> so know. Hilarious. And the funny, funny thing is, I was just at Linda and um, Charlie's, and they were saying how we reminded them of oh, each other. Oh, that's great. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Funny. She kind of, you guys know Shannon Ray too? Of course. Yeah. She kind of reminds me yeah. of her. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> I understand that. I just got glasses, and I'm not used to them, so I really don't. So now, do your glasses go them? close up and far away? It's, they're prescription. They're prescription. They're tri oh, trifocals. But I've never had glasses in my life, and I'm right. 53. Right. So it's mostly close up. I mean, I can see pretty good, yeah. but when I'm doing this, I have to be able to. Uh -huh. No, if it's in focus. So if I'm doing well, two things, then I have to yeah. have one. I think you should put it down. I'll tell you why. Yeah. It's a little confusing with confusing. the red. Yeah. yeah, the red, the red. Yeah. Like, does she have yeah. a weird tattoo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially if we haven't got that part in the exactly. same spot on the video, yeah. then sure. we might not yeah. know, sure. right? Exactly. You're, you're my director. Okay. Right. Good job. Director. <laughs> so yeah. you've got the, that's perfect. And can you hold that down just a tad? That's good, yeah. It's nice that you're holding it, though, because it makes a difference. Okay. So I actually want to... Um, Kind of sit. This. I want you to kind of look at me. Mm -hmm. And well, you can look at each other though too. Yeah, right? we'll look at each other. I we'll like it you. when you are visiting <laughs> with each other. Do you have an iPhone? No, no. So I have one, but I can't seem to find it. I have another one for filming. Let me just use your battery. Oh, right, right, Sorry, right, my right. husband's okay. charging it. Okay. Um, so should should I ask you questions, or do you want? Do you guys want no, to talk? No, you just ask okay. me because. It'd be good to kind of direct. I sure. can certainly ask questions once you start directing so I can kind of share sure. where it's going. So how is your choices in birth different from your sister's and your mother's and your grandmother? My choices? Like, yeah, like did they have midwives too? Or? Um, my mom had all midwives and for all four births and actually... My eldest sister. Can you say that again? Sorry, I just decided to move this in. Just so <laughs> it's like okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Choices as in options. If that helps you. To... Here we go. Um, my mom had um, midwives for all four of her births, and my eldest sister, she actually ended up having a C-section at the hospital in the Big Island, with a, I guess um, my mom told me that he was a, a known like. C-section happy doctor, but and she told her that, but I guess she just really trusted him because she felt that it wasn't going to happen, but it ended up happening anyway. And my other sister, she started with a midwife over here in Maui, and I guess it wasn't working out too well. She was actually in labor for like three days, so she ended up having to go to the hospital, and then she decided for a second baby, since it didn't work out the first time with the midwife, she went again and had another hospital birth. But I think mostly because her husband was really, he's just really doctor, like, I don't know, doctor happy or something. He just really trusts, like, the government and all that stuff. So, yeah. But I really think that going um, the midwife way is more of a natural way. And I trust them more than that I do the doctors. I always have it. Uh, just the way it is. But so, why did you decide to go back to the doctor this time? Mostly because of money. <laughs> That's actually the only reason, <laughs> is money. 
Yeah, I would totally have another midwife birth if I could, but right now times are really, you know, <laughs> hard with the jobs and everything. And so yeah, that's the only reason why. Yeah. And also midwives are not reimbursed for any type of birth. Yeah. Um, we are not recognized here in the state of Hawaii. Home birth midwives are not recognized. Therefore, there's no insurance in the state of Hawaii that will cover for a midwife. Yeah, if there was, I would definitely take that option. Mm -hmm. That's really sad. Yeah. Um, so, I just want to ask you too, how, how much would it, would it cost you to take, take, a, take a, just a pause after I ask the question, okay? And, and um, who wants to answer that question? About so what are you how much does it cost? Well, I can state what sure. I charge for a home birth. Sure. Okay. So, uh, what a home birth runs, what I charge for a home birth is $3,300 for the birth and all the aftercare, which are four visits after the birth. And then it also includes my assistant. And then the prenatals I do charge separately for at $70 per hour. So that's what I charge. So what would you what would you be choosing now if you didn't have to worry about the financial uh, piece here? I would definitely choose midwifery. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about how you wish that that could be covered by? Yeah. Um, yeah. If. If midwifery was covered under insurance over here in um, Hawaii, uh, I would definitely take that option because um, it seems so much more oh, natural and just a way a way better option. Yeah. Not only that, it's also much more cost effective as well because it's mm -hmm. been proven that when women give birth at home or even women who give birth in the hospital that with their postpartum care is that a lot of women who've given birth in the hospital end up back in the hospital because they're not getting the postpartum care that they need through their doctors because a lot of women go back about two weeks after their birth if they've had a vaginal birth and as we know breastfeeding there's a lot of breastfeeding issues and first-time moms have a lot of issues that when you have a nurse or a midwife that goes into the home after the birth and is with them to work through some of the difficulties they're having, they heal so much faster and they don't end up back in the hospital. Billions of dollars are spent each year and insurances are paying out that money where they could save that money and put it into something else. So it would just behoove the insurance companies to look further into covering some of the midwives now I know sometimes they will cover the certified nurse midwife, of course, but in the state of Hawaii, most certified nurse midwives only work through the hospital with a doctor. So there is no insurance company that will allow any doctors to even back up a midwife if she is doing a home birth. So if a patient goes to the doctors and she tells them that she is considering a home birth, that there is a very strong probability that they will not see them any longer and stop all their care. Mm -hmm. Have you told your doctor that you're planning to have a midwife come to the hospital with you? Yeah, yeah. Good. I did. Because that means that you're not a failed hunger. <laughs> yeah. <You're> smart. <laughs> yeah. Can you talk about that just for a second about what you are doing? with your doctor and the relationship that you have with him and then with your midwife. Her. Mm -hmm. Or her, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told her that um, I really wanted to have um, a midwife come in. Talk, tell, how about you tell her? Oh. I just start again, maybe tell her. Because okay. it's nice you guys are having this little conversation okay. right now. Right? <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah, <it's> okay. <laughs> I've been, um, I told my doctor that I was going to have my midwife come in with me uh, to the hospital because I felt like I would be more comfortable and I'd have a really good support person and they would really help me make better decisions like on what the doctors were giving me um, um, 
like like my options for maybe painkillers or um, just even if they wanted to induce me or you know C-section anything, I would want to have second opinion from my midwife. Right, know? and you trust and you trusted her opinion and that she understands what's going on in the hospital, yeah, so it might help you to understand it better. Exactly, because right. I don't have all that knowledge that they would have. Sure, you know? and that makes really a lot of sense for sure. Yeah. So, did you know that in Washington State, the Medicaid is covered by a Midwest can bill Medicaid? Like, I can bill Medicaid for all my clients who are in Medicaid. In California, too, I think, too. Right? Mm. And I now the, the actual, the, um, the government is actually promoting midwifery because it's more cost effective for low risk. So, so they're way behind here in the mm. state of Hawaii. Can, do you want to just, like, because I don't really want this to come from me, so do you want to just say, like, in other, you know, just sort of maybe talk about it a little bit, just for a minute or two, in other places? Well, we in, in a lot of other states where midwives are recognized, and there's a lot of different types of midwives that are recognized, there's the certified midwife, there's the registered midwife, there's the lay midwife, there's the certified professional midwife, and then there's the certified nurse midwife. It seems like there's an array of different types of midwives and that in a number of states every type of midwife is being reimbursed through the medical assistance program and then also being reimbursed through insurance. Yet in the state of Hawaii that it has never been recognized and that it seems that especially within the state you would think that they would begin to recognize it because we are all on different islands. We all There's a lot of rural areas that midwives go to and that women do not want to go into the hospital. I know that on the island of Molokai, the certified nurse midwives were the only midwives that were delivering there in the hospital because the insurance companies would not allow the obstetricians to deliver there. Now go figure why that is. They don't have a hospital. Well, there's, there's a small hospital there. A clinic. It's yeah. more of a clinic, so they don't do a lot of yeah. emergency things. So the midwives were there delivering the babies. So yet, on some of the other islands, there's, they're not allowing it. Um, I would think that it, if the insurance companies would start reimbursing the midwives, of course it would increase home birth, and I do believe in this state that that's what they want to prevent at this time. They do not want home birth to continue. Because midwives continue. are not licensed or regulated. Yeah, the, the midwives are not licensed or regulated in the state, yet we have tried in the past to put bills in front of them and they've pretty much put them in the drawers. And this has started way back in 1979. Um, and now we've gotten to a place where because there are a lot of different types of midwives that it's very difficult for the midwives to come together and make a united decision as to which way to go, setting our protocols and our standards of care. So because of that, we because we all have different feelings about it, it has kind of kept the Midwives Alliance of, of Hawaii from moving forward with any type of bill to promote legalization of midwifery. Now, the state of Hawaii does recognize us. We are able to do our own birth certificates, we um, are able to do the newborn screening. So they recognize us and we are in their stats. It, it is stated that we do about 1% of the births in the state. So. That's about the same as That one's that right? Wow. Okay, so um, how about, I want to ask you some more questions. <laughs> um, do you have time? Are you okay? Yeah. Do you do you have to get any other stuff done today, like blood pressure or anything? Or yeah, we're gonna do an internal. Internal we'll determine whether we'll, we're gonna. Yeah, we do, don't want to uh, put that on film. Yeah. Um, of course, you probably don't want that. On film. <laughs> do you have your other birth on film? Um, no. No. Mm -hmm. Do you have any photographs? Yeah, a photo. Would you be willing to share it some or? Yeah, I don't have any with me here. No, you no. can just send them to me. Oh, okay. By email. Yeah, yeah. If you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? By yeah. Email? yeah. What's really I nice so. is if you're talking can you show? and you're like talking about your birth, and then I have like photographs or right. video. Right. Yeah. Then okay. I can kind of layer that in with your voice talking, and it's really nice. Right. Yeah, I do. Have a lot so of if you want to hold the mic just for this last little part with you, and then I can go out while you have your internal. If you just kind of hold it up this way, 
this one. Oh, There's yeah. Like then okay. it'll actually pick up your voice, and I won't get that in the in the film. Okay. And so I'm going to have you just looking at me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so, just yeah, this won't take long. So, um, but I was thinking it'd be neat for you to talk about your other work because you haven't really talked about it too much. How was that? It was good. It started at like 8 o'clock p.m. right when I was <laughs> wanting to go to sleep. I was really tired. But uh, I was at my mom's house up in um, uh, Makawao. And um, uh, everything was progressing pretty well, I would say. Um, I was dilating and pretty good. And um, Marilee came up around it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, I would say, and um, I think it was about like 4 centimeters or so, and um, she ended up working my cervix, helping me dilate um, faster, which was good, and then um, I kind of was starting to get stuck, I think around 5 or 6 centimeters, so she broke my water, and that was good. It made me start dilating even more. Um, I ended up getting stuck I think around nine centimeters for a while but it, I just went into the bath I was really like relaxed um, everything was really nice in there actually and then there's like the pushing stage and that was about an hour hour and a half I would say I can't really remember but I think it was around that time and um, it was a full 17 hour birth but I didn't have any painkillers. I had a little bit of Stadol, which helped calm my nerves down. Oh. Can you just say, don't put it in there? Yeah. Don't put it in there. Okay. Yeah, because we'll just don't put okay. that in. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. We won't put it in. <laughs> and um, uh, her assistant, um, my midwife's assistant, was really helpful. She was helping me with my back lever for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, pushing and massaging my back. It was really nice. And um, baby came out. There was some shoulder dystocia, but my midwife was really professional and got the shoulder out, put both her hands in there, and it was just <laughs> pulled one shoulder out, and then everything came out fine. And the baby was healthy and great. And I had a great um, postpartum. It was healed. Everything healed really great, really fast. And the baby was really fine, and that was the best part, because that the baby was fine and healthy and happy. Mm. Oh, six and nine. Is that good? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. I'm just going to get a like... picture of you guys looking at that together, oh, just for fun. Yeah. I won't actually see any of the notes, but I'll just kind of, maybe just, sort of just talk to each other like you were just a minute ago there. Okay, well, so what I noticed that popped up for me was... Um, so she started <coughs> pushing at twelve twenty. Yeah. Even later, I think. Oh, lip completely gone. Two p.m. At two two. Oh, she delivered in the afternoon. I kept yeah. thinking she delivered in the morning. Yes, in the afternoon. Uh, so two twenty. And she delivered at two p.m. At two two fifty. Oh, only okay. Pushed for a half hour. No shit. That was only pushing 50, for half no, hour. Fifty fifty minutes. Oh, fifty minutes. Fifty yeah, minutes. Yeah, I was gonna swear. I was like, gonna say that. She didn't push that yeah. long. So what had happened is um, the head was coming down, but she had a little bit of an anterior lip, and mm -hmm. so I had to go inside and work with her with the lip to push it back, and finally it went back, and then she delivered 50, min 50 minutes later. Cool. Okay. Yeah, his AFGARs were six, six at one minute and nine at five minutes. So how about if I, I'll take the, the um, camera off here, mm -hmm. and now you're going to have a, an exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you like um, to palpate and tell us your take on her side? I could. I was, you know, I'm pretty good at, like, eyeballing when I was watching yeah. you, and I agreed, yeah. I agreed 100% okay. with her. Um, I'm just going to turn this off for a second.